Um, compared to everybody's problem right now, mine sounds like really small. Okay. Um, something going on with my body. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I can't stop eating. And it's like I pick up everybody's weight and just like my body going big. And it's it, it's been a fight kind of thing. And... Uh, like it seems like I'm picking up other people like and I eat not just for myself but for everybody in my building and yeah wow. and yes <laughs> so it's like it's very un unpleasant feeling that you cannot if I don't if I don't start eating I can't do that but if I start eating I cannot stop kind of thing it's like over like I don't know this is disgusting kind of thing I just um hope you can have some perspective on it because I cleared as 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 good as 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 much as I could today. Okay. A lot of different things, so. but I believe I don't allow my body to to change or like I don't know. Yeah. Why do you need to eat for them? Um. Why do I need to eat for them? Yeah. It's like help, like obli like obligation, because I was I was clearing like that I need to carry all the weight of all the world on me, and yeah. today I was clearing that I need to take the weight from women, so physical weight, emotional, like psychological, mental, and all of this stuff. That was my kind of the job duty, whatever. Why do you need to carry the weight of the world? Um. To prove my value, I guess, or to be the savior, or prove my value that uh, that I'm good enough, that I can do that. Okay. What if the world doesn't need saving? It doesn't. I, mean, I, I do understand that. Okay. But if you realize it doesn't need saving, why are you trying to be a savior? I, I'm, I thought I'm cleared that already. I don't think I'm doing it anymore. It was just kind of a... So truth, if you're not there to take on the weight of the world, will it all go to hell? Yes. Okay. Are you willing to destroy that belief? Yes, please. Are you willing to destroy the belief that the people of the world don't know enough to take care of themselves? Yes. It's almost like anywhere I go, it's like I, I use, like, I don't know if it's okay. It's obviously it still continues on, on some level that I pick up all the down spiral um, energies. So it's like everybody, everything that um, they don't want or make their life uh, a burden or heavy or unpleasant in any way, I just like, I'll take it, I'll take it for you, I'll take it for you. Like, yeah, like almost like they're not capable of doing it. But again, remember, this is yeah. your point of view on how everyone's functioning, but everything... No, 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 I'm doing subconsciously. It's like I'm not doing consciously, right? I get that. But every, every, every person, they may bitch about what they don't want, but they actually want it or they wouldn't have it. Right? So when you look at these people, you don't look at it from a point of they need to be saved and they've got the stuff they don't want and... and um, their, their life sucks and you need to help make it unsuck. Um, that's a word, but you have to look at this, look at the stories that they're in and look what they're creating for themselves because they feel that's how their life is supposed to function. I do. I, I do understand your on a mental level and all, all the levels outside of, um, some kind of very deep conscious something that is mm -hmm. doing it because 
it's not like I'm aware of this. I just, then I just feel all this heaviness. It's like, what is this? Oh, it's not mine. And this is not mine. And this is not mine. And what, who am I eating for? Oh, for like the, the neighbor from like three circles down. Or I was in the clinic like for weight loss and I just immediately become bigger. Yeah. Like I left the clinic and I become bigger. So do you have any choice or any control in the matter or does it just happen? It's, I, I guess I believe it's just happened. Okay. So notice that in that in trying to be the savior, you've actually made yourself the victim. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So uh, the belief that you have no choice but to help everyone that needs help, are you willing to destroy that? Yes, please. <laughs> 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 Ooh. It goes so far. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't help anyone moving forward, who would you be? Um, I, 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 I see that I would be like this... Um, a uh, person that's uh, banned from the city, outside of the city, mm -hmm. like uh, like a witch person, a witch like person? a medi medicine woman or medicine man. I see a man actually, like you know, that is outside of. So you'd be a medicine woman that doesn't help people. It's it's actually the man, but it looks like a hermit. That it's okay. like, if I'm not going to help people, if I'm not going to be there, so they're just going to, I would be too weird for them or something. They're just going to like, you know, take me out of the, okay, out of the reach of the city. It's like, I'm, I'm uh, behind the walls. Okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that if you don't help everyone, you will be exiled and outcast? Yes. Hey. It's almost like um, I, I cannot help myself until I help everyone, something like that. Mm -hmm. so it's, until I save the last person on, on, I don't know, on Earth or on the universe, I can't kind of like help me. Okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to put everyone's, you know, you have to save everyone else before you can start saving yourself? Yeah. Ooh, that's a neat one. Here it goes. Ooh. Are you willing to destroy the belief that if you don't help people or save people, you'll end up alone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it almost feels like I don't have value by mm -hmm. myself. Like self-worth, it's not there. Yeah. If I'm not helping, like I, like it's almost like what is my purpose? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not saving. See, it's, it is really a matter of stepping into your own power and helping when you choose to, not when you feel you have to. Yeah, it's almost like an automatic reaction for me. Right? Yeah. I'm just doing it like, so there's no choice. It's like choice of no choice. Yeah. So get yourself back into choice. Okay. I, I used to be in a place where I was just helping everyone and that did not work for me. And uh, even 
on this cruise now it was uh 25 day program was over and i had a few more days on the ship and i'm getting emails on this and that and i'm like yeah no don't care on vacation you can wait <laughs> so this is my me time <laughs> so i i, I noticed that i can't even relax right even when i'm trying to relax i'm kind of still like this guy's like like you're saying i need to do something i need to say like i need to do something yep so stop being a victim to healing how can i do that you're a victim to the need to heal it has yeah. the power and you, you just need have to help to teach to you and i'm so sick yeah. of it so sick of it so are you willing to ooh. that's so heavy wow so oh, oh, it's moving now. <sighs> Are you willing to destroy the need to help everyone? Yes. Are you willing to destroy the belief that if you don't help everyone, you're not a good person? Yes. <sighs> oh, whew, there we go. It's almost like I don't know who I am if I'm not healing, not teaching, not helping. Like, I just not so much physical, it's mostly like, like, yeah, conscious. Like consciousness level. Mm -hmm. So. It, and it's so exhausting because like you talk to a friend and. Yeah. I, I, I think I don't know how to be a friend because I, I constantly like, <laughs> I cannot just have a conversation about nothing or like conversation about like how good is the tea it's almost like i always have to see and hear and and teach and share and i just saw the whole thing so is your role and your purpose to be a healer yes are you willing to destroy that belief yes please What if your purpose was just to enjoy your life how, however you want? That would be awesome. I just somehow, I'm, I don't have this belief. I have to live that I, I have to be a savior. And but you don't have to be ago, I was inside the Christ body when he was on the cross. Mm -hmm. So all the pain I felt through my body. And you released it all. Yes, that was a couple, <laughs> of, a couple hours of, but it was very intense. I had a crown of uh, torrents on my head and the pain and everything. So why and would I, you want to do that? I have no idea. It wasn't like I just had a client in Malta. So I, I was uh, working with the client and doing a session and uh, I connected to Malta and, and Christ is still on a cross in Malta. It's like for 360 kilometers, they have 365 uh, churches, Catholic churches, right? Uh -huh. And when I was there, I was healing the land all the time, the Inquisition and everything. I was in so much pain for every, like everything that's happened there. And I just somehow like it just happened. It just like I was like doctor of this. Uh... See, you see how you're creating drama around you. You're creating a need to heal. You're creating a need to heal things that haven't taken place for hundreds and thousands of years and don't need to be changed or fixed. How? I really would like to, to see that, how I created this, because I really want to change it. It's really, really painful. Well, I mean, this thing, if you're, if you're having these experiences of Christ on the cross, like Christ already yeah. had an experience, you don't need to have it for him. It's exactly. done. Exactly. I know that. <laughs> it's been, it's done, yes. And why so, not Buddha, right? Why on the cross? Yeah, and you seem to get this joy 
out of doing that and recreating pain and recreating suffering in your body so that it feels like you've made a change in the world. When in fact, all you've done is relive something that's happened instead of make, make any actual change. Yeah, that might be. So change it. it's are you willing to destroy like the, the loop? I feel like the loop. Yeah. That I'm are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to, to, to heal all the suffering of the past? Not just past, future too. Okay. Are you willing to destroy it? For all the journey, I have to do that. Wow, that's a wonderful yeah. place to be, isn't it? Yeah, that's a wonderful place to be. <laughs> yeah, for all the journey too. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to heal all suffering, past, present, and future? Yes. <coughs> and are you willing to destroy the belief that your only value comes from being a healer? Yes. Wow, that's a big charge on us all. <sighs> Somehow it's also come up that there's a lot of value in suffering and pain. There's a lot of value in suffering? And suffering and pain. And pain. Okay, who taught you that? It's also coming kind of like a Christ, uh, Christ's way or something, Christ way. Yeah, Christ would never teach you that there's value in suffering. No, no, no. I'm sure he was gone already. <laughs> so do you have to do you have to do all this so you can be like Christ? Important like Christ. Okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to suffer and heal and do all these things so you can be as important as Christ? Yes, please. <coughs> okay, how does that feel? Better, worse, same or different? How? A lot of energy moving through. Mm -hmm. It's um, it feels like that that uh, the space is opening up a little bit. Pardon? It feels like space it's opening up a little bit, but my throat got like my throat got <laughs> okay. like somebody's just holding yeah. me. Keep it in mind, it's not a competition between you and Christ. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah. It's like you, no ego, no ego in it at all, right? Yeah, not at all. Do you need to be loved like he was loved? Um, yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, you make me cry now. Mm. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to go through what he did so you can get the love that he now gets? Yes, please. Okay, how are you feeling? Something really shifted with this last one. Yeah. And I think like many people, a few people on a call also yeah, feel uncomfortable. That's why, asked, that's why I asked the question. Yep. Okay, cool. Hey, this is Shiraz. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. And you can check out upcoming events at www.energeticmagic.com. And remember, be well, be aware and be magical.